All right, guys. All right, guys. Good morning here. Uh, welcome back to Grizzle Farms. I'm just putting some air in the spreader tire here because I'm uh, gonna empty out some uh, some of the manure up by the manure pump up there because it's kind of a mess up there. But yeah, I'm gonna put this cap on. Ugh. Uh, we had to do some work to the spreader yesterday. There's no feeders on it or anything right now. We've just been dumping it uh, straight into the field. So, uh, yeah, and this is what's going on there now. It's just the door and uh, just the augers. The augers spin in there. And uh, it helps it get cleaned out, but it's still, it's better than just dumping it. So, and we're gonna not be dripping all over the driveway, hopefully. So, that's a plus because before it was dripping all over the driveway and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah, we were working on that yesterday. There's a bunch of oil junk in there that drips out, but we should be able to get this fixed soon, hopefully. But yeah. Alright guys, so you can see that there's that oil manure junk that's leaking out like kind of like crazy. It was leaking out before when I was parked here too. There's a big puddle right there. Uh, it was also starting to seep out of the door, but I think we can just tighten that up and it'll be fine. So, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the 5640 here. I got the 455 up here that drove it up here one day, but I'm gonna hop in this. Oh, there's a bunch of poop in the bucket. Alright, well, I'm gonna get going at this and hopefully get it cleaned up out here so there's not manure on the spreader's tires when I drive away because that's why I'm cleaning it up up here because uh, I leave a trail along the driveway. So that's why I'm cleaning it up. Alright, guys, I'm refueling up the 4C20 right now. It's almost done. Should be almost done at least. But yeah, I've gotten two loads done, I think. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's getting cleaned out up there pretty good. Looks decent, but yeah, just filling up the fuel. Alright guys, so I'm filling up these uh, two diesel cans here. The skid loader ran out of fuel on me, so I gotta go up there and fill that up. Got these two cans filled up. Uh, I'm gonna have to drive it down here, so yeah, but because it's not gonna be full with just these two cans in it. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, been kind of a up and down morning so far. We'll see how it, how it goes though. Yeah, I got the boat out. I'm gonna be riding it. And yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I got the 4320 here. I was we cleaned this out up here really good before this morning. Um, yeah, we were getting it nice as a uh sinkhole here that we were cleaning out and looks pretty good right now at least the spreader's not backing into a bunch of manure now it looks really good over here um yeah i don't know what that is but oh that's probably from when i wasn't here at the tractor and then it was dripping so that makes sense but yeah the 4220 is leaking diesel fuel up in the front you can see that little dark green line on the hood still hasn't dried, but yeah, it's leaking diesel. So yeah, but right now I'm gonna grab the 9400 here, and I have to rip up this here because um, this is like our bag area. So we got to get this ripped up so it's nice for more bags because we're coming up here on second crop hay. So. Gotta make sure everything's good. But yeah. I'm gonna hop in this thing and start it up quick. Okay. Yeah. Oops, I always reach down here because the keys I'm used to the keys being down there. There we go. All right, well, I'm gonna just dig this up here and uh, yeah. 
All right, guys, so I just finished digging all this up by the bags up here. Now I'm gonna take this back. 